What is going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Some of you guys are moving. Y'all yeah, about to get the keys, all right, to a new apartment, a new car, or something magical that y'all manifested. All right, but there's definitely new opportunities in your energy. So we have a new, I mean, a full moon. All right, we have a full moon on January 25th. And Leo, baby, it's about to be on and pop. And remember, the full moons is all about illuminations. It's all about things being illuminated, things being revealed, things being exposed to you that needs to change or that is blocking that Leo energy. All right. And the Leo energy. All right. You it's all about fun. It's all about excitement. It's all about pleasure, baby, if you know what I mean. It's all about intimacy. It's all about passion. It's all about creativity and anything or anybody that's been blocking that and you've been pushing it under the rug, you're not going to be able to no more. It's going to get so put in your face this week that you're not going to be able to take um, the confinement that you are feeling when it comes to passion and excitement and fun and pleasure and happiness and all of that good stuff and fulfillment. You're not going to be able to take it. The things that you allow to slide because you wanted to be the bigger person or the things that you allow to slide because you was worrying about other people's happiness with this full moon and Leo, that comes to a stop, a complete stop. And your soul is going to, your body might not be wanting to do something. That, that your soul is calling you to do. All right? So, that's the energy. We going to tap in and see how is that energy influencing you. Oh, damn. The receipts are in. <laughs> All right? That shit wanted to pop out. All right? Something could be happening on a 14th. All right? Isn't that Valentine's Day? All right, somebody could be going out. Somebody could find. Be careful. All right, for those because I don't judge, I don't give a fuck. For those of you with guys that got sneaky links, all right, something might be happening on the fourteenth. All right, where there there might be some receipts, okay. But there the receipts are out. All right, there's some type of receipts. There's some type of confirmation either you got or somebody got when it comes. And then somebody might even. Damn, I'm getting the energy of very invasive energy, like somebody checking your pockets for receipts, somebody checking things to get confirmation on what they're thinking about. Be very mindful of that, that invasive energy. Set healthy boundaries here. All right, I see breakfast. All right, something could be happening over breakfast. All right, where there's a conversation happening and somebody bringing up something that they heard or receipts, but the receipts are in. For some of you guys also, this is a whole new message. All right, remember... Try to put the energy where it fits into your life and, and every message and every reading is not going to fit your story because it's general. All right. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, just switch the roles neat as needed and leave the rest behind. Um, but for others, you guys. All right. You've been getting confirmations. All right. On different type of receipts. Your angels, your God's been communicating with you through numbers. All right. Play the lottery. Um, I see the word tip. So somebody could be tipping somebody off. All right. Somebody could be telling somebody information like, like telling them something like tipping them off about something. All right. With this confirmation and receipts. Spirit, give me more on this energy, please, for the collectives. And this is all happening as we are entering this full moon energy. Damn, yup. Shit. Somebody mad. Somebody found some receipts and about to try to disrupt your happiness, disrupt your plans. You know, you this plane is signifying you taking off. It's signifying you catching flights, not feelings. It's signifying you moving to another state of mind. It's signifying your feelings are changing from somebody or certain things. It's signifying you literally trying to plan something and somebody literally trying to make everything go bad. But this is, the, this is your challenge. This is your challenge this week. All right, because this is what's getting exposed. All right, this is nothing new to you. 
All right, for you, for you, for some of you guys, matter of fact, I'm hearing all of you guys that's watching this. There's a person or a situation that been disrupting your plans. Whether it was just trying to argue with you, whether it was just trying to get you in a lower vibrational state, whatever it was, they been trying to disrupt your plans. They been knocking you off your wave. All right. And now that the full moon in Leo is coming up, all right, this is what's being exposed. This is your challenge. Are you going to allow this energy to keep disrupting your plans? Are you going to allow this energy to keep disrupting your motion and what you got going on moving forward? Are you going to allow this energy to keep disrupting you and moving past your current situation? Because that's what's been happening. Every time you plan something, every time you feel like something is about to take off, er, it stops. All right, the receipts are in. For some of you guys, you getting confirmation and you got receipts on, on why this is happening or who this is that keeps trying to disrupt your plans. All right. Um, for some of you guys, it's even a problem for you guys to even go out to eat. Like if somebody's not included or if there's a situation, if somebody's not a part of your plans, they disrupting it. And that's messed up. That's low vibrational energy and that's a hater. All right? And spirit is talking to somebody because this is 14 and 41. 144. All right? This is mirror. Uh, this is mirroring numbers. 14 and 41. So whatever relationship, whatever partnership, whether it's friends, family, lover. All right? It is mirroring a very unhealthy energy when it comes to disappointments. Lack isolation literally disruption of plans all the time okay so this is what i'm seeing this is something that's being mirrored all right for some of you guys i had this plant here and it's like i guess it's attracting you know um whatever little bugs it is all right, but it's giving monitoring spirit. Like you can't really see it, but I can see it. <laughs> okay. All right, something is like trying to monitor you. The receipts are in. All right. Also, it, um, with this breakfast, I'm hearing somebody want to have you for breakfast. <laughs> you know my ancestors are a little freaky. <laughs> All right, yeah, mountains. They are trying to cause obstacles for you, baby. You're going to have to find a way to move around. All right? This person or this situation is put on your path to teach you how to go around shit. This thing is a karmic situation for you to learn your strengths and getting over certain situations or getting over people that's trying to lower your vibration and disrupt your plans. All right? You're going to have to learn how to stand on business and move around or find another way because this week somebody or something is being a hater you hear me and you got five spirit is speaking to you guys four plus one number 14 is five 41 equals five and you got the number five here this is major change you hear me this is about to teach you how to move around something or finally moving around something, seeing like this way, it's just going to be mountains and obstacles. You know why? Because somebody is meant to be doing this. Somebody is intentionally doing this because they're not going with you or people are not going with you. They're not meant. Every time you take off or every time something's happening, the reason why is disrupted. The reason why you the reason why you keep being met with mountains, not only because of this person is doing it intentionally, you keep trying to take this person where you're going. Everybody is not meant to go where you're going to the next chapter of your life. And until you realize that, until you stop trying to bring the people that God keeps telling you to leave behind because God sees something that you don't see, you're going to keep meeting obstacles. And the reason why it's coming out on my table is because this Leo energy, this full moon energy, this is what's being exposed. You can't take it no more. You're starting to realize like it's not you. It's you trying to bring somebody or you trying to bring people on this journey where this shit, they making it harder. 
they not even giving you no advice to get around this obstacle. You know why? Because they the ones who's doing They are the obstacle. All right, you got repeated numbers here. All right, you've been getting signs. You've been getting synchronicities. You've been focusing. Like, you've been looking at your clock and meeting that number. All right, God been speaking to you. Your angel's been speaking to you. And there's confirmation here that this person, it's either this person got some receipts that you are moving around, you are moving on, or people got some receipts that it's done. With the disruptions of plans and obstacles or you got the receipts and confirmation of who and why this was going on and you're moving around it now. Because lately all you've been meeting was disruptions in your plans. Physical. Physical planning for some of you guys. Downfalls, delays, and obstacles. Major mountains. All right, it's that it's these people, it's that person. You hear me? But if you look at it like a challenge, like I, right, you want to move like that, I'm gonna figure out a way to move around this, okay? And keep my high vibration. This is what it's teaching you. And this week leading up to the 25th, you is gonna be unbearable. You're gonna be like, uh uh, my plans keep getting disrupted. I keep disrupting my plans because of this. So, yeah, that's out the window. Yeah, energy. Energy. They're trying to cut your energy. For some of you guys with this power lines, if you got a phone, right? If you got a phone that is on a line, right? And you use it, you know, for your needs, they trying to cut it off. They trying to cut some source of power off when it comes to your energy. All right, or y'all need to cut that line of communication or something off. They're trying to cut the power off to your energy, to your source of your, your lifeline. All right, they want to be your only lifeline. They, these are power lines. It's something about bills too. For some of you guys, it's bills that they're trying to make you pay to keep the lights on or energy bills or something like that. But this is causing you too much energy <laughs> is what I'm getting. All right, this is causing you way too much energy. And for some of you guys, you're not even being valued for the amount and the importance of what you bring into the table as far as keeping shit together. Because if you really look at it, we go outside collectives and we never thank God about the power lines. <laughs> we never thank the universe that we got power lines or we just look at this like it's supposed to be here not realizing like if something go wrong with these power lines it will affect a lot of people tr tr tremendously so think of you like the power lines and people just not even you know evaluate how powerful you are and how resourceful you are when it comes to a certain situation and how you are the connection to a lot of things. So this is another thing. Not only are you meeting blockages with this person or obstacles, not only is they keep being bitter and salty and disrupting every plan, not only because they found some type of receipts or you got receipts or whatever, but you're being undervalued. This is going to stop. Y'all not going to be able to take it. Y'all can't take it. And that's why it's coming out in the reading. Y'all not, y'all can't take it no more. Spirit, give me more on this, um, these receipts. But this receipt says Serendipity Boulevard. So Serendipity is like an amazing feeling. All right, so that's the, that's the energy too. Like somebody is noticing your energy. All right, and how blissful you've been feeling. Okay, regardless of the disruptions or the mountains that they've been trying to pull on your path. You're getting over it. All right, so let's tap in. Spirit, give me more on these receipts, this confirmation. Please and thank you. Wow, the Queen of Cups. All right, this is a reader. This card is symbolic of a tea leaf reader. 
where, you know, she reads you the, the, she reads you in a different way of divination. Instead of using a card, she uses a cup and tea leaves. So y'all been going to Arita. Or y'all been going to somebody that you trust emotionally with your feelings and you trust their judgment. All right. This is the Queen of Cups is somebody that you go to for calm, for advice and for wise counsel. The Queen of Cups is somebody you feel comes confident and confiding in. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. This could even be a relationship. But this person is very wise when it comes to seeing what's unfolding and what's to come in your situation. That's what you go to this person for. For some of you guys, this could even be a, a spiritual advisor or somebody that you watch. All right. But this definitely is a reader giving you confirmation. All right. Giving you wise counsel, um, teaching you about repeating numbers or staying in um, communication with your guys. All right. They're telling you that you got to fill your cup up. And that the situation that you've been in been draining you emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. You have no love for yourself. So how the fuck are you going to have love for anybody else? And the reason why this is happening is because you feel obligated to hold a position in a situation where you don't have to do that. You feel obligated holding a title in a situation where God is saying you putting that on yourself. Allow God to finish pouring into you before you're pouring from your cup. That's not even filled yet. All right. Take that from me as a reader, queen of cups. I am a queen of cups for real. I'm a Scorpio and I'm a reader. Okay. Somebody is telling you there's no unfulfillment. Everybody else is just being fulfilled around you. All right, this is very healing and loving energy coming from somebody. Yeah. All right, you learning. You this is a new chapter in your life. For some of you guys, you're finally ready to open up to what's going on. All right, what's going on in your finances? What's going on in your career? What's going on in your mind? This is a new chapter in your life where you're not allowing this shit to disrupt your good news no more. Your good opportunities, your learning experiences. You're not allowing that no more. Page of Pentacles, you're a King of Pentacles. All right, so somebody elevating, and somebody else don't like that. All right, you went from the Page of Pentacles to the fucking Knight. I mean, all right, somebody getting their life together, somebody turning the, the, the page in a book of life, somebody ready to start new. All right. And to rewrite their story. Somebody getting a life together. Somebody rebuilding. Somebody getting healthier. All right. Somebody is on a pursuit of living a very healthy and happy lifestyle. And it all starts with your body first. Somebody's tired of waking up mad. Somebody's tired of waking up drained. Not having no energy. Okay. So. Y'all not, y'all, y'all, y'all over with this. Y'all moved around. All right, there's confirmation. And for some of you guys, there's a situation where somebody see you wanting to do better. They see your intentions in the morning. They see you changing your routines on a daily, on a daily. All right, they see the difference. And when somebody is stuck in a karmic energy and not healing correctly or too stuck on how you're going about your life, all right, this person is a little jelly, jealous. So anytime you say you're going to the gym, who the hell you going to the gym with? Anytime you say you're going to take a walk, oh, who you? It, it's, it's very invasive energy. And y'all starting to realize that, okay? This is what you're passionate about now. Getting your shit together. Feeling your body more healthy. Your mental, okay? So that way you could show up physically. Somebody's hating. All right. Somebody is hating. They don't even want you to be healthy. For some of you guys, it's your choice of what you're eating. And they're like, why you're eating that? All right. It's something about your energy here where you're feeling more powerful now. And they're trying to drain it. 
Spirit, give me more on his disruptions. You know, and what they're doing is, they're not, they're trying to like disrupt like a major part. So like, say if, this is just a scenario. Say if you going out, right? And, and it's the little shit. So say if you going out and you got to be at a place at a certain time. They will intentionally try to stay in a bathroom for long. Or they will intentionally try to stay somewhere where, you know, like those type of things. Where it would disrupt your plans. Where you're like, you know what, I don't even want to go no more. All right. Spirit, give me more. Oh my gosh. Disruptions. For some of you guys, they've been trying to kick you out. Like, this is how they've been trying to disrupt your plans. By trying to knock you off your stability. Or by trying to subtly... Suddenly doing something drastic that you don't even have no time to like get help or recuperate. Embarrassment. Really trying to break you down when it comes to your security and your position in life. All right. This is a tower moment that's happening. All right. And it's looking like somebody might even be getting kicked out because they want to better their life. Or this is a reason why this is like the turning point. For some of you guys, this was the turning point. Like, you got kicked out or something happened like this to where you like, all right, you're going to have to stand on that now because I'm not going back. And you started to do better. Okay? You started to do better. That's, there's a major towel moment happening. All right, wait, this 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 happened multiple times. You're done. They keep taking you back, doing this, taking you back, doing this. You're done. This is the person that's causing mountains. This is the environment that's been causing mountains. And for some of you guys, they've been in this energy because they probably found some receipts. When you're looking for something, when you're searching for something, you will find. So be prepared. Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Cups energy, please, and thank you. What is this Queen of Cups? Who is this Queen of Cups to um, the collectives? Damn, the chariot. They want to move forward with you. <laughs> they feel like you, you can ride bikes, but they feel like you are a lot with their health. Getting back to being healthy. All right, they feel like, you are a success. They feel like you find answers. They feel like you find a way in any conflict to get over. They, they feel like you overcame or you're helping them overcome some sort of adversity. This is a very good call. Like, this is like... You leaving a situation and never going back to it. Like, you just done. Like... You received a blessing recently where you feel like you got another chance at life, chariot energy. You feel like you got control. You feel like you got control of the speed. As to this situation, you didn't. So this Queen of Cups is very influential in your life and, and guiding you through this spiritual transformation and moment in your life because... This is something spiritual that's happening to you guys, y'all. The tower is a major iconic card and the chariot is a major iconic card. All right. And the major iconic cards is the spiritual lessons. The very important life changing lessons we are learning on our life to live a good day to day. So with this chariot and this tower, you had to learn how to stop going back. You kept going back. You kept going back, back. This time in the chariot energy, you're not going back. They're going to have to stand on that and watch you build the right way. See, what was going on is you was in a house with somebody where you was building on a false foundation. Something in that foundation was not true. It was not honest and it was not fulfilling. But there was something that you just kept building on. So when you keep building on a weak foundation, it's going to fall. And sometimes... If God, you know, this is divine intervention. When you see the tower, God did this. Ain't nobody but God did this. Whether he sent somebody in to do this, this was bound to happen. And the only reason why this happened like this, 
because you needed to be saved. Any longer left in a situation, your life would have been done for. God saved you, believe it or not. This rejection was your motherfucking protection. And this was a major spiritual lesson of the mountains you was going through, of the disruptions because you kept being kicked out. You kept being invaded with privacy and having people try to find receipts or asking you about this or telling you to confirm that. And then if you didn't want to validate it, you will be kicked out, embarrassed, knocked off your stability. Okay. Anything that is not strong will break. It's meant to. So it could be strong enough. All right. So you have to learn. And this was your spiritual lesson to move on. And the reason why you wasn't moving on because you kept going back. You kept feeling like maybe, maybe you were, right? Because we all got to take accountability. Maybe you were the one that did something that caused this, right? But because you couldn't forgive yourself, every time this happened, you would think that you deserved it because of what you've done. And that's not how life goes. And until you forgive yourself and realize that shit happens and you have the right to like be better, you will always keep feeling obligated to deserve this because you fucked up. This is you, chariot energy, saying, all right, I messed up in the past. I deserve that one time, but like three, four times, I don't deserve that. I don't keep, I don't deserve keep getting shit blown, thrown up my face after we were supposed to have forgotten about it or hear from it. You starting to realize like, I, right, I made a mistake. I ain't know no better. But what I'm not going to keep doing is getting treated like this. And that's the chariot energy. Never going back to, to shit that keep just wanting you to feel guilty on and, and fault you for shit and making you pay. All right, that's a spiritual lesson. Exactly to the five cards. This situation was nothing but disappointments. The house was broken. This was not a home. You hear me? This was not a home. This was a trauma bonded household that was filled with nothing but disappointments because everybody was going through some type of trauma. There was so much lack of love and the love that was being given was coming from a trauma bonded space. So it had a lot of manipulation, codependency, lack, scarcity, abandonment issues. Somebody done. Y'all done with crying over spilled milk. Y'all over here trying to keep fixing something that's already broken. Keep You feel obligated. To keep fixing something because you probably broke it. Boy, girl, if it's broken, it's meant to be broken. You got two other cups right here. And that's the two cups. So somebody chose to leave these three cups that's broken. Three different times you tried. And you're about to, you're about to go after these two cups right here. These are steady. Okay. Yeah, it's on. This is a new life for you guys. All right. This is a new life. Spirit, give me more on these mountains. I see you guys really getting it together, y'all. Really healing. Really. It's something about living just a more healthier lifestyle. For some of you guys, maybe it was about the money. And you realizing like your body need to be healthy. Your mind. Your spirit. In order for you to tr attract wealth. All right, this is a new chapter in your life where things are finally coming together after everything has crumbled for you, but you're not going back. See, what Spirit is saying is that you didn't feel confident in making it by yourself. You thought you needed these people. You thought that you couldn't make it after everything was crumbling. This was the great crumble for you. This was the start of you being independent and you being self-reliant. You don't need people like this, baby. You don't need, this is not love. Even if you did do something, it's not what you do. It's how you do it, baby. You could get your point across without doing this. And having you left, pick it, fixing something by yourself that you didn't even fucking break. Because your cups is right here. You stopped that. 
You're no longer breaking. I mean, you're no longer fixing anything that you did not break. It's disrupting your plans. All right? It's making you feel unstable. It's making you feel embarrassed. Okay? Spirit, give me more of these obstacles. Yeah, the high priestess. This was hidden. This is something hidden. All right? They were hiding things from you. All right? For some of you guys, this could have something to do with a child or a move. All right? But they were hiding. They were hiding important information you probably needed. Important suggestions. Important uh, creativity or just wisdom. Or certain resources that they didn't want to give to you that they intentionally had. Spirit, give me more on these power lines, this energy. All right, for a lot of you guys, they was in their feelings. They had hidden jealousy feelings. Exactly, exactly the stall. All right, the sun card. Damn. All right, so you getting fuel somewhere else. There's power in another connection. There's power. There's, you're shooting for the stars. This Aquarius energy, the star card. All right, there's a whole new sense of life, okay, where there's a rebirth happening also. All right. Somebody could feel like they have confirmation on a child. They might have found some receipts out. Okay, but there's energy. Um, Y'all shooting for the stars. There's, some, there's a powerful connection here. A powerful connection. Where it's a line. You guys are stepping out of your south node in to your, no, your north node. All right, you are becoming who you are to be. All right, and this is a beautiful thing after learning, finally learning that you could do it on your own. That you're not going back to this, this situation of keep kicking you out calling you back keep cutting you out calling you back all right this person is queen of cups wise counsel this person really really been an influence you know the queen of cups we cannot solve your problems but we will be the most genuine person to love you wow and hold your hand wow you are healing yourself and that's what we need is support all right so this is a new chapter, all right? There's no more disruptions, all right? There's no more disruptions, there's delays, all right? Missed opportunities with your plans no more, all right? You found out who's the person, all right? This person was intentionally obstacles after obstacles, obstacles, all right? There's some sort of receipts in, okay? And I hope that helps. Remember this, um, a lot of healthy energy too, all right? A lot of healthy energy, all right, no more crying over spilt milk and damn sure not fixing nothing you didn't break. All right, because your cups are full over here. Okay, shooting for the stars. They were they had a secret intention. Okay, and there's something private. They might feel like you're being private about something. All right, but when I tell you health is wealth, baby, health is wealth, and you're understanding that. All right, a totally amazing new chapter that you started all right a lot of good things coming in for your career your money good fortune is coming in all right and stay tapped into the um angel numbers that you've been seeing this is confirmation for you this reading was confirmation for you all right so i'll see you later